Today we're gonna do some wiring. Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us on Around the Home. So, I've got some standard, you know, Romax here, which is used in homes, uh, other electronic things like that. But obviously you're gonna find it mostly in homes and buildings and stuff like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to, uh, to cut off a section, to strip it, and to connect it to another section, whether you're just at, you wanna, um, you know, doing an add-on in your house, if you want to add some candle lights, light fixtures. So this is kind of just general knowledge. This is a very basic beginner's type tip, but everyone's got to start somewhere. Some of the tools that we're going to need during this. All right, I've got a utility knife. Okay, got a wire stripper. And I've got needle nose pliers and just some square jawed pliers or linesman pliers uh, work even better. Okay, so let's get on down here to the bench. Let's take a look. All right, and a few other accessories we're going to need are some wire nuts, and uh, I've got a wood board here. Uh, not totally necessary, but it really helps out. Okay, so we're just going to take a little section of our wire, and we're going to cut it off. Okay, just something to practice on. All right, because practice makes perfect, right? So it's good to practice a little bit here before you get started on the actual project. So, here we go. All right, so let's say we need this wire and we're at a junction box or something like that. So we're gonna have some open wires. We got to attach them all together, okay? So we wanna take out the outer insulation first. Let's say that we wanna open it up this far or inside the box or whatever, okay? So you just wanna kind of run your utility knife right through the middle there. You know, don't push too hard, don't get crazy. You just wanna to try to cut the outer insulation. You're gonna peel that back, peel back the little paper, okay? Okay, now that we have the outer insulation off, we're gonna strip the wires, okay? Now these are solid wires, they're not stranded. Stranded means you have all the little wires all wrapped together. On your wire stripper here, you're gonna see it says, well, it probably should say solid and stranded. Okay, and on the solid, it'll say there's a 10 gauge here, on the strand, it is 12 gauge next to it, okay? So the wires end up being a little bit different, uh, you know, and you don't wanna rip off a bunch of that that's stranded by accident. But we're on solid color wires, okay? So we're solid, and we're 12 gauge, like I said. So we're gonna stick it in the, in the 12 there for the solid. And I'm stripping off uh, about a half inch, a little bit more, maybe a little closer to five eighths. Uh, is normally like a good, you know, rule of thumb to strip off. Um, if you have a certain thing that you're using, whether like these can be pressed right into a, um, a, a locking, you know, wire adapter where you just have to slide them in and they lock in, a lot of times they'll have a wire strip gauge on the side. It'll show you what's the best strip length to use. Always use that if that's provided, okay? So now we got our wire stripped and we can put them inside the can light connectors or something like that. But you're like, okay, well, what if I need to hook this up to another set of wires? What's the best way to do that? Okay. So let's just, let's just make another set of wires. Okay. There we go. So now I've got two sets of wires. So let's say we're light, setting up a light fixture or anything like that, or, you know, adding an outlet on the wall. So let's just say that we're keeping it simple. So we're gonna put the black to black and white to white. Now this is where your square pliers come in or your linesman pliers. So you're gonna have the wires just kind of lined up and you want the tops to be the same and you know, being stripped about the same like that. Grab a hold of them flat, okay? And you're just gonna start to twist them, okay? Now this is where it's kind of important to have the same gauged wire if it's possible. Okay, because if you have one thick wire, one thin wire, um, obviously the thick wire is not gonna do anything and the thin one is just gonna spin around it, okay? Now if you're putting a, doing a, like a light fixture and you have a stranded wire from the light fixture and you got this thick wire here, don't worry about doing this. Okay, you're just gonna do the wire nut part. If we had a stranded wire, we wouldn't do that, we would just Put it right up next to this wire here. Make sure that the two tops, the two ends of the wires are at the same height. And then we're gonna take our wire nut. You're gonna find one that's a proper size for these wires. You don't want one that's too big. You don't want one that's too small. Okay. 
and then you just apply the wire nut. Now, with these ones here being the solid wires, it's really good to do that twist action right there. It really locks them together, and they, they're not gonna come apart down the road. But in a light fixture, you're gonna have just that, that really thin stranded wire. So like I said, you just take it, if this was that light stranded wire, you just gotta make sure that it's lined up, you know, top to top is the same. And you're not gonna worry about twisting it because when you put the wire nut on, it's gonna twist it around by itself because that stranded wire is a lot, you know, just a lot, lot lighter duty. And that'll lock it in. Then you wanna take the wires, you're gonna hold the, the thick solid wire you've got and then if you had that, that light stranded wire from light fixture, you want to kind of pull on it and make sure it got locked in place and didn't just spin around. Okay, but if both wire ends were right, right at the same top, then the wire nut should have grabbed both at the same time. Okay, um, but these big thick solid wires, you really want to twist them together uh, with the pliers because as you can see, the wire nut did not twist them together. It, I mean, this one got a little slight bend to it and that's it. Um, and that's why we take the pliers to the solid wires. Now I know this is a very basic video on beginner tips, but I hope that I helped a few of you guys just realize, oh, here's some of the better practices to do when you're wiring things in your home, okay? Um, you know, if I miss something that you're all like, oh, I wish you guys would have like, wish you would have said something about this or what about this, please leave, you know, questions in the comments down below and I'll, you know, if I can answer it straight up, I will. If I need to make a new video explaining that, then that's great because then I know what you guys need. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Please share this video. If you didn't before, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, check out my website. We also have a cooking channel. Um, I know it's new, not a lot of videos, but it's, it's, it's coming. Um, another video for you guys to check out as well. Thanks again.